Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hope everyone here in Melbourne is uh, keeping cool. We're in the middle of a nice hot day. <laughs> um, this is my wrap up live uh, for the end of 2019. I know I've still got um, a week and a bit before we clock into 2020, the next decade. Um, but I'm going to go on holidays. I'm going to take a break. Um, there might be some random posts that pop up um, on social media for me and there may not be. So um, I think it's important to take breaks and actually use that time to rest and rejuvenate. Um, so that's what I'll be doing. And I really sincerely hope that you also get that opportunity for yourself, if not over the next couple of weeks, then um, at some point. Um, hmm. um, yeah, 2019 has been huge. Um, I use these sort of, um, you know, end of year, end of month, end of quarter um, milestones to sort of do check-ins and reviews with where I'm at, what my goals were, how they went, um, what I would then want to accomplish in, in the next bit. So um, my theme uh, that I set for 2019 was all about visibility and um, yeah I don't know how many lies I've done uh, in this group this year but it's been pretty significant um, for me um, I've done a lot of sharing not just of sort of knowledge uh, but also I've shared a lot of myself um, and that's that's been really huge. Um, I've been quite um, open about where I'm at um, and what's been going on for me and, um, you know, sharing feelings and stuff. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the, there's definitely been, um, been a lot accomplished uh, for me personally this year, particularly in that space and just getting comfortable with being me um, in front of an audience um, outside of the training room because that, that I'm already very comfortable with, but just stepping it up in this online space. Um, so that's been really cool. Um, had some big um, other ventures, so still running my Waking Women's Collective gathering and that's been really good. I sort of moved away from really planning those out um, to being really comfortable with not planning them and just sort of allowing things to flow real, a lot less structured. So that, that's been a really big thing. Um, I started to tackle uh, my resistance around doing cold calling um, and doing business to business sales. Uh, there's still a lot, a lot more that I need to grow in that space. So <laughs> I'll be tackling that one nice and early in, in 2020. Uh, but yeah, the, the, the nice thing is it started. Um, it's not about uh, waiting until I felt ready. It was literally just do it um, and learn from the experiences um, and then adjust. Um, it's like a baby learning to walk. <laughs> Probably more traumatic than anyway. Yeah, so it's been a huge year. There's been a lot of internal personal growth work that's happened for myself and what's been interesting is a big thing that really dropped in for me this year was to stop being the student um stop going to workshops um and um and learning for myself and i must admit there's there's been massive resistance because i love i love being a, a student just as much as i love being a teacher and 
So I really resisted that. I still did a lot of growth things during the year, but I definitely scaled it back. Um, and so what I've discovered is when I actually do um, accept the challenge of not growing myself, uh, what actually happens is that a lot of personal growth things just drop in naturally anyway. Um, so I'm going to be a lot more um, open to not being the, the student in the classroom next year um, and really actually embrace that time of just applying what I already know, which is huge. Like there's huge amounts there. So really, um, and just, yeah, let let go being a student just for a little bit um, until a few other things open up. <sighs> what else? What else? What else? Um, another big part of this post is just to express my immense thanks and gratitude to each and every person in this group. Um, everyone that has liked or commented or shared or invited other people in your circles to this group, like that's huge. Um, and yeah, that's, that's just a thing just to say a big thank you to everyone. Um, anyone that's listened to any of his lives <laughs> or commented or shot me a message um yeah immense immense love and gratitude um i've got some challenges already planned for 2020 um so as i mentioned i'm off on holidays and so i'm not formally gonna sort of kick back into business as such until sort of about the 15th of january um i'll officially be on a little bit earlier than that but just you know ease myself back into it um that only leaves then a couple of weeks in january february one of my challenges is to actually do a social media blackout for the entire um entire february like you know a lot of people do feb fast um so no drinking for february um i'll be drinking um <laughs> but i won't be on social media for a whole month which i'm actually i'm quite excited I'm actually quite excited to challenge myself to that because um, it is, there's, it does sort of zap up a, a lot of time. So, um, so really, realistically, there probably won't be any formal challenges until March. Um, so, yeah, um, but there'll be plenty of other shares and posts in that time, except for February. Um, and I'll still be available on um what's it called messenger uh but not not on facebook not on twitter not on any of those other incredible platforms so um yeah there's gonna be a bunch of other stuff um i'm gonna set some dates for running uh my the quest to embody joy program um and also the joy embodiment program which oh, can't wait can't wait to get that up and running because it's huge it's got it's like the culmination of the best things that I have learned um, in in the personal development space and there's so much gold in it um, so yeah I'm excited to get those up and running and offer those to you guys um, of course still offering coaching one-on-one uh, -on -one. Um, I'm also going to look at the option of doing a online group program um, sometime in the first half of next year. So uh, if any of those things sort of appeal to you, <laughs> yay, um, let, let me know. Um, or if you do have a preference for a any of the things that I've just mentioned or want to know more, that's a good thing to sort of give me a kick up the bum to get things scheduled and organised. Um, yeah, so there's lots. There's going to be so much on the table for next year. Um, yeah, it's um, it's really cool. Um, so, yeah, my, as I said, my theme for this year was visibility, so I'm going to have to pick a new theme for next year, something that pushes me and drives me. Um, there will be, there were, 
I've already got a couple of challenges. Um, one's around purpose. Uh, the other one is about self-responsibility. That's a nice big one. Um, and then later in the year, I'm redoing the edge challenge. So getting outside my comfort zone, because that, that was a really good one um, for myself. And I'm going to be upping the game, be doing things that are really outside my comfort zone. So really pushing, pushing myself next level, like doing dumb shit in public and just opening myself up to a lot of scrutiny and embarrassment effectively. But, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, so, yeah, I think, I think that's it. I think that's all I wanted to cover and finish on off this year. Um, yeah, there'll be random spatterings here and there, but nothing uh, formal until mid-January. And, yeah, just a... Again, a big, big, huge thank you to you all for being here. Um, it, yeah, it does. It, it means a lot. Um, yeah, just thanks. Thanks for your support. Um, have a lovely, lovely holiday season, whether you're actually holidaying or whether you're working through, um, whether Christmas is your thing or not. Um, I hope it is a time that warrants um, getting together and being grateful and spending time with the people that you care about the most. Um, and New Year's, you know, that's always fun. So it's, um, yeah, pretty crazy, pretty crazy. But um, ultimately just um, taking time to let the people know the most Um the people that we care about the most that we do actually care about them so that that's my little christmas message um i don't give a lot um to the idea of presents and all the other rigmaroles that come with christmas so um, keep it simple i say um hmm. so much joy to you all um and yeah, a super exciting year ahead. So with heart and soul, signing up for 2019. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.